In the MailChimp website, they have a cute uh, hover animation, which is kind of like a bit of a jumpy one, an elastic animation, and we will sh and we will see how to create that in Figma's prototyping, also tweaking the easing curve, meaning the motion curve on the animation. I have here the button, just a frame with a label in it and a rectangle that is going to be the background of this button when we will animate it. Selecting them both, aligning them to the center and clicking on create component, calling it a button. I will make it a bit higher just to have a place to animate the uh, the button up, I will add a variant and in the second variant I will select the button and align it, to, align it to the top of the frame. Basically, visually, we already have the result that we want to achieve. Now I will switch back to prototyping and I will uh, connect these two variants with a trigger of a while hovering smart animate 400 milliseconds the ease out i will switch it for a minute for the ease out back which will give us a bit of an uh, of a kind of like an elastic behavior but not exactly what we want i will show how to tweak the easing curve in order to achieve uh, more like the main chip animation button or button animation so let's preview that and I will put my mouse here. We see that I have it just kind of like a little bit, but it's not enough. It's animating a bit funny, I would say. I mean, not funny, but it's not what exactly we want to achieve. Uh, and I will go here again. And I will, by the way, the right way is to call that. I will just correct it as the hover because this is the hover state of the button. Yeah, I'm being a bit picky here. But anyway, now what I'll do is I will switch it to the custom Bezier. And in the custom Bezier, this is the beginning of the movement. That's where the movement ends and it goes a bit more and gets back to the uh, end position. I will exaggerate it by doing something like that. And here I'm going to smooth the entry of it by doing like so. So it's going to go all the way up here, uh, go over the end position and get back to it kind of like a bit more smooth. And I guess that this will give us the, let's say that jumpy behavior that we want to achieve exactly. You see, now it's looking actually exactly like the button over there. Nice, precise, and that's how it's done.